I think that um, what we're seeing is a total collapse in public confidence in yet another pillar of the British establishment. You know, it happened with MPs with expenses scandal. It happened to the banking system when the banking, banking system went up in smoke. It's now happening to the police, to the media. And we've got to kind of take the opportunity to, to clean the system up and renew it and put it on a completely different, completely different footing. That doesn't mean interfering in press freedom. I'm a passionate believer in press freedom. But we cannot ever again have this, this spectacle of people in certain newspapers acting with complete impunity, as if there's one law for them and another law for anyone else. You can't have that much power given to people to make or break often innocent people's lives with no accountability uh, whatsoever. And that's why uh, you know, it is incredibly important we have a judge-led inquiry with real power and real teeth to look at all of these murky allegations about the relationship between the press and the police, not just News International, but the press as a whole. Why we need to have a look at the whole architecture of the way in which the press operates. Clearly, the Press Complaints Commission is a, is a busted flush. It's, it's toothless. It doesn't work. It needs to be replaced. So, you know, I really understand and totally share the public dismay, disgust and anger. What we've now got to do is use those feelings into something which, which creates something better for the future.